and share the word of God. And I hope you'll be blessed. Please remain there to the end and share this broadcast as much as possible. I am going to read the word of God with you. I hope you are also there, my, my listener and our viewer. So it's in Genesis chapter 21 from verses 5 to 8. I'm using King James Passion. And Abraham was an hundred years old uh -huh. when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God has made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. Verses 8. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. John chapter 14, verse 13 to 17. The Bible says, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, mm -hmm. so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Verse 15 says, if you love me, you will, love, you will obey what I command. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him. Because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. The Bible says that Abraham was waiting with Salah for all this long. And <clears throat> at a hundred years old, that is when the son of the promise came. Mm -hmm. And when Isaac was coming, of course we know the story that there was still yet another baby that had been born before uh, called Ismael and uh, of course that one did not become the son of the promise because God had talked about Isaac yeah. and I want to say this that it is very important like mom has said to pass the test of patience mm -hmm. because when you are impatient the devil can use that season to yeah. bring doubt in your life hallelujah and I want to tell you that the delay that sometimes you see is not demonic. Mm -hmm. If at all you are in the, in the uh, I can say, the, the principles of God and the faith is working in you, and God is still speaking to you, telling you, I'm still coming, then there is no chance to doubt. So after 100 years, God fulfilled what he had spoken to Abraham. Mm -hmm. And Isaac came. I was just trying to see when God would appear to people and he would say that I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. So he never mentioned Ismail anywhere. Because now the deal was between Abraham, God, and Isaac. Uh -huh. I want to say that whenever you are waiting for a covenant promise, mm -hmm. there are always battles that sometimes will come, uh, written a lot along the way, counterfeit to come and counter the, new, the real blessing that God has promised you. And therefore, we are learning from this scripture today that there are benefits that come with waiting uh -huh. when you wait in faith. Yeah. There are people who have waited for, for many years. But I want to give them the answer like the Bible says that Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. So your waiting is not in vain. Mm. Mm. In verse 7, you see, the Bible says that, and she said, who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? Mm. For I have born him a son in his old age. I don't know uh, what people have been saying about you because we are living in a society that people are tracking other people's progress all the time. Probably maybe you came to Nairobi, maybe or Mombasa, or maybe you're in Kisumu, or maybe in Nakuru city. You, you, you left the village and went to the city. And the expectation of people back in the village has been very high. Mm. And they have always said, you know, she's going to go there and she's going to come back here the same way she left. And you know very well that you are in God's, you, uh, you know, direction. You, you are guided by God in whatever you are doing. You made a prayer that God, if I go to this place, God, I want you to bless me. 
And somehow God confirmed in his own ways because God has got a way of confirming to every person depending with your level that God has laced you. And God confirmed to you that you are in the right place. And what you are doing in the right, is the right thing. Probably it's a business, a company that you started, maybe a school, or maybe a relationship. But people are still saying, let's see what is going to come out of her. Mm -hmm. Let's see what is going to come out of him. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you this. Even in the days of Abraham, they did not believe that there would be a baby in that family. And when it happened, now you can see the, the word of God is answering them and saying, who would have said, I see a time that is coming when some people will testify and say, who would have said mm. that you would have driven your own vehicle? Mm. Who would have said that you would have owned your own house? Who would have said that you would have left the country and God opens a door for you in another country? I see God who fulfills the covenant coming. Because there are people who have been very faithful, following God and waiting. Actually, uh, if you read a little bit of this story, even Sarah herself, when she was told about this, at one point she laughed. Because she really didn't believe. Because at 100 years, and Sarah probably allowed 90 years, even biologically these people cannot perform. You know, they, 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 they are already... Uh, they have already retired. These guys, they, they cannot perform even biologically. But you know, when God begins to fulfill the promise, he restores every other thing that is supposed to work at that particular time. And God fulfilled his promise. I want to say this. Your doubters will testify about your blessing. Mm. So don't ride on your doubters once and the way they perceive you. Because some of you already have heard it from your very close friends, from your relatives. But let me tell you, God is coming to fulfill it. Yeah. Against the voices of your doubters in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know I'm talking to people who are coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. They can look back and see a lot of impossibilities. Mm. Let me tell you this. Jesus said that if you ask anything in my name, mm. I'll do it. Yes. This is Jesus Christ saying, I don't know what you want to ask today. You could be asking maybe for your spiritual shifting. Mm -hmm. You are tired with the level that you've been operating in at this time. Some of us are listening from prayer centers. You have been crying to God, 21 days fasting, 40 days fasting, whatever the fasting period that you've covenanted Hallelujah. with God. I want to come and encourage you and tell you this. Whether you are doing it in the houses, others in the hospitals, if you shall ask anything in the name of Jesus Christ, he says, I will do it. He will do it. Time he will. might seem like it's taking longer, but I want to tell you, God is preparing it to be better and brighter for you. Mm. Mm. Probably God is preparing the person that he's going to use to bless you. Hallelujah. Please give God his time mm. and pray there for the discernment. That God will help you to understand that this is not the obstacle from the enemy. It's not the delay from the enemy. But it is God himself preparing for that miracle to come. Mm. I urge you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Please seek God in faith. Seek him in faith. And like in verse 12 it says that if you believe on me. So mm. if you have faith and ask. Jehovah God is so faithful Hallelujah. to bring it to pass oh yeah god is going to do what he promised he will do oh, yeah. hallelujah please give an offering give your tithes give your support you can make a sacrifice and make sure you're doing it in faith on the numbers given you can also put your prayer items there and i know as we start with you even to the end mm. a miracle is going to happen and you'll have a testimony in the end Amen. Yeah. i want to wind up with this word in John 14, 16. And I'll pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide in you. Mm -hmm. And this is the spirit of truth, verse uh -huh. 17, whom the world cannot receive. Hallelujah. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and he shall be with you. Uh -huh. Listen, when Mary <clears throat> thought, How should I, how will I give birth into a son and I? I'm, I'm not going to, 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 you know, to come into contact uh, bi biologically. The angel said, the Holy Ghost is mm. going to overshadow you. Yes. And now you'll be able to conceive. 
And here Jesus is saying that he's going to pray that the Holy Spirit mm. will be upon you. Because some people have already started maybe complaining and figuring out. How will some things happen now that this factor that makes them to happen is not there? Jesus has already prayed to the Father and the Holy Ghost is upon you. Remember, this is only going to happen if you have a covenant with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you have not given your life to Jesus, I don't see how you'll be able to walk with the Holy Spirit. And therefore, as I make my prayer, I want to make an invitation. If you've never given your life to Jesus, I want to pray that you'll give your life to Jesus right now and that the Holy Ghost will begin to come upon you. Some of you have been expecting God to baptize them with power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please believe with me as I make this prayer yes. that you'll also experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because that is what is going to show you the possibilities of the things that God is speaking in your heart. Mm. Your mind alone has no capacity to help you see them come to pass. Mm. But when the Holy Ghost is upon you, you will see them come to pass. Hallelujah. And I want you to repeat this short prayer in faith. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I can't save myself. I can never save myself. myself. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive, Forgive me all my sins. Because I repent them all. Because, because I, repent I repent them, them all. all. Write my name. Write my, my name. name. In the book of life. In the, in the book, book of, of life. I am born again. I am born again. Amen. 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 Yeah. Let me make a prayer for you. Congratulations, Lord Father, Lord in the Lord name Lord of Lord Jesus Lord. Christ. Yes. You, this viewer, this listener, Jehovah yes, God, who has given Lord. his life to you, yes. I commit him and her into your hands. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Jehovah God, as they begin to continue the with their new life, locate the them, Lord, Lord, even in their places where they can have shepherds. Jehovah God, who will grow them up spiritually. Mm. And God, there are also other people praying with me right now, mm. yes, trusting you for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, yes. including those in the new converts. Mm. I pray in faith in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, receive the Holy Ghost receive now. now. In the name in of the Jesus, name Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Receive the gift of the Spirit of God. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Begin to pray now and speak in tongues. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. May the gift of God be upon you. Mm. May every possibility begin now to show up in yes. your life. May your faith come alive now. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What, not, was not, what was not possible. Let it become possible. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen.